She believes that Islam has changed her life. And even at times, when she felt that there is so much pressure, the Quran encouraged her. It says that God does not burden anybody more than they can bear. Baka pronounced in public that even though she was not yet a convert, she was a Muslim at heart. However, she wanted to smell the perfume of Islam and taste its savory fruits. Thus, she decided to get down at the prayer mat and ultimately converted. Her career immediately ended, but she never minded it. She regarded it as a test from Allah, and she learned that suffering is a purification for the soul, and that those who accept it gladly, win Allah's gratification. I was living the high life, I had everything a young person could dream of. Christiane Bakker, a presenter on MTV Europe, and enjoyed the red carpet, simply felt that although she had everything, something was still missing. Baka learned, that Allah is Arabic for God, the creator of the universe, and the center of our being. She found out that all the Muslims, she had met were looking beyond themselves. It was faith that inspired them to spend time, energy, and even money to fulfill their aspirations and higher goals. On her trip to Pakistan, she found that God played an important role in everyone's life, and that he was everywhere, in the beautiful architecture, in the music, and in the hearts of people. The generosity of Pakistani Muslims was overwhelming, and despite their miserable conditions, they were content. Christiane realized that, there was a stark contrast between the world from which she came and the Pakistani culture. Right after her trip, Bakr attended the MTV Music Award in LA. The whole scene was so fake and superficial, I really missed the warmth, and authenticity of the people, I met in Pakistan. On the following years, Bakr kept traveling back and forth to Pakistan. In addition to the humanity of the people, and the culture, Bakr was also captivated intellectually. Imran Khan former Prime Minister of Pakistan, gave her books on Islam, which they later discussed in depth. The doctrine of Islam was more logical to her, people worship one God, they are held responsible for their own actions, and that babies are born pure rather than sinners, and that this life is only a bridge to the afterlife. I missed all this intellectual stimulation. There was so much to discover, having worked at MTV, where it was a matter of leaving your brain at home, and have fun at work. To her surprise, Baker read about prophets who were familiar. There were so many commonalities between the three religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. After all, they all came from the same source. Islam is only a continuation of Christianity. Islam indeed values women for their characters, rather than their physical appearance. Western women, in contrast to Muslim women, were under a lot of pressure to comply to the ideals, presented in the magazines. What a liberation it is to worship nothing but God, not money, not fame not fashion. In 2009 Christiane published, her acclaimed biography from MTV to Mecca, in Germany. The book is currently translated into Dutch, Turkish, Arabic, and English. Christiane is engaged in interfaith, and intercultural dialogue, and is a global ambassador for the Exploring Islam Foundation. She believes, that Islam has changed her life.